and starts to threaten him that she'll scream only for Oh Young to rebuke oh, her by wow. saying sure if you can. Now what? It's empty Boy stops time, but he uses it on his crush to test his true powers. One morning, a boy named Juo Yang rushes to the bathroom mirror and simultaneously grips his left eye. However, he finds okay. a mysterious red symbol has taken a hold of his Sharing eye. Guy? What the hell? It's then revealed that he can see some kind of information at top Code of his head, including his own name. But just like any normal person, he shrugs it off and continues to school like nothing ever N happened. No one Even does that. his eye begins to cosplay Sasuke. Nevertheless, at school, he reveals that he's just the average type of guy with such average looks, but with below average grades as he's going to cram school for retaking he's not a average. failed exam that Ugly. everyone seemingly passes. He's also not good at sports but loves to game a lot so he can't defend himself when he gets thrown around. Okay. As such, he gets clapped as he got caught liking a popular girl. Regardless, while thinking back to what just happened, his eye begins to act up again and it begins to take over as he starts seeing information about everyone else. Okay. Oh, yeah, then interesting to plot so far, but I'm scared that it's not, I'm scared it's gonna get a little too interesting. Happening is because he was playing too much ranked Valorant, but the information is too clear and detailed to just be hallucinations. He also notices that he sees the correct names and ages, but is oblivious to the rest of the information seen, such okay. as difficulty and interest. However, he realizes that the information about the girls are a little bit more detailed compared to the guys. Unluckily for him, he begins to notice that all interest of the girls are at exactly zero. <laughs> so he begins to feel ashamed about himself because he believes he's that uninteresting. <laughs> Eventually, he gets jet. over himself and finds the popular girl, Ren, surrounded by two popular guys asking her out. Meanwhile, his friend Park Jiwoon asks if he wants to go play Tekken afterwards, what? Is that but not he declines copyrighted? saying he needs to go study. Suddenly, his special eye activates again. So he looks at Ran again and finally notices that her interest level is at level one. Oh. Now in disbelief, he begins to oh, stare wow. and refuses to believe that the school's Damn. Queen Bee may actually have an interest in him. Unfortunately, Damn. she notices that he was staring at her. She then begins to call him out and asks why he's looking at people with such disgusting eyes, causing the entire class oh. to bring their attention to the two. Oh, that's nasty. He proceeds to break down and continues by claiming that she was seeing things, so she comes closer and asks if he's saying that she was lying. Ran then screams that she caught him secretly looking at her entire suit of very nice armor. So she whips out her hand, causing his life to begin wow. flashing before him, thinking that it's all over this for him now. This is a now. setup. An eternity passes, so he looks up and notices Ran is- What is this blurred for? She was frozen in time. It's then revealed that the no. king's ability named Stopwatch has been activated, causing all time to stop for exactly okay. five minutes. Okay, okay. At the same time, a pop-up has appeared saying that a tutorial quest has started where he must make Ran shout really hard. What? If completed, he, the target's interest will increase by 20 and the target domination will also increase by 20 Target points. domination? Now, thoroughly confused, our boy has become a Chad and begins to awkwardly smile. Chad? Is that what Fast we call this? Fast forward five minutes and Ran is- We call this- we call this Chad behavior? Okay. All right, I don't want to be a Chad. I'm shaking on the ground. Meanwhile, why? everyone is shocked that somehow loser Oyang has suddenly disappeared. Wait, why was she- Ran singing? then instantly finds herself feeling really weird, as if something just happened in a flash. What? She continues to tremble and wonders why her body suddenly feels super weird. No. If you know what I mean, wink wink. Regardless, no. just like the Flash, we find Oh Young somehow no. back at home during all the he commotion. Where he murmurs to himself that everything no. could have totally gotten out of control. Regardless, we find out that during the entire five minutes that time is frozen, Homeboy actually took the opportunity to complete his quest and instantly warped home. Who wrote this? Oh no, I'm scared for I'm scared for the person who wrote this, bro. Who wrote this, bro? Who drew Upon this? Upon completion, his eye once again activates and notifications claiming that he has leveled up began popping up. And now he has to go for his mother. It's activating again. The only woman in sight is your mother. Oh no. With his newfound level, he gained a brand new skill called the Eye of Incubus. He then finds another notification that popped up telling him to check his status window. What? Fortunately for him, the game-like window appeared before him, showing all kinds of information about himself. This is going to gain strength and agility from molestation. Okay. However, he realizes that his stats are actually pretty bad, even though he has a cool nickname. Eventually, he finds another notification claiming that he has two incomplete quests. As such, his curiosity made him tap on the window which opened up his incomplete quest list What tab. is this, bro? There he finds that one of his quests involves oh. strength Oh, he's gonna work out, okay. Is about conquering. Oyang is then quick to complain about his strength training quest, but shrugs it off as he remembered that he just gained an incredible ability that- So he ha he's gonna work out and, and use women without their consent. This reminds me of a certain bald man uh, who wears glasses, you know, talked on podcasts a lot. Currently he's in jail, but I can't, I can't put my finger on it. <laughs> 
can literally freeze time. As such, he begins to celebrate as he can now leave the life of being a loser, and can become reborn as a true powerful man. He's then quickly in a route by someone saying excuse me behind him, so he goes to investigate, only to find his red head next door neighbor. He's then shocked to find out that such a pretty girl lives next to him. Why is he just coming here? As me Yo, what the f Yo, it's not the fact that there's cake on the screen, bro. There's not the fact that they have butt, bro. If y'all look close enough, enough, y'all will see, y'all will see water. <laughs> Why are you squirting yourself? Find out that Ouyang lives by himself. Nevertheless, he asks her what brings her here, only for her to reply by asking him to keep it down as she's busy prepping for her exams. During their conversation, Ouyang realizes that he can now see detailed information about others, but is unable to okay. do so as he does not have enough M.E. He then sighs as he tries to begin figuring out what exactly that meant, forgetting that his neighbor is still in front of him. As he crutches his eye, he begins allocating stat points to M.E., okay. allowing him to successfully unlock the extra details of Park Nami. You can see interest, difficulty, <laughs> sexual preference, Oh my god, sexual weakness. What does sexual weakness mean? I don't like the sound of that. One of those extra details is the aforementioned measurements and marriage status, causing Ouyang to begin to scoff Marriage the status? Now That's hilarious. He then proceeds to stop time by activating stopwatch level 2. At this very moment, he begins to grow a couple inches taller as he confirms that he has actually gained the ability to stop time. And well, the rest was history. As such, he calls out her name and proceeds to do the same thing he did to Ran, unfortunately for him. Things don't go according to plan as he gets yes. zapped and punished for coming into contact with yes. someone at interest level zero. Yes. Hoyang then falls to his knees while Nami yes. tries to help him as she thinks he's fallen sick. Yes. Back at school the next day, yes. Oyang is busy thinking about his previous encounter, yes. but gets rudely interrupted by no other than Ran herself. Yes. This time, she asks for Oyang to come with her to the bathroom. Why did why? There she why the fuck is her breast this blackface? <laughs> why is her breast blackfishing? I mean, I get you have a top on, but why does your top do this to you? There's no way this is a this, the school dress code allows this. Time she asks for Oyang to come with her to the bathroom. There why? she asks about what truly happened on the previous day, only for Oyang to act as if nothing ever happened. This causes Rand to scream, saying he did it, that it was him that made what? her undies disappear. What? But ever since he leveled up, Ouyang has became a different man and decides to turn it on her, saying that she's doing all of this just to attract him. Ouyang continues to push on, making Ram begin to visibly shake. However, she reminds him that they are still inside the girl's bathroom, and starts to threaten him that she'll scream only for Ouyang to rebuke her Bro. by saying, Sure, if you can. Now what? This is why we shouldn't let everyone have the ability to let their their ideas be known this is why we don't allow that to happen this is why tiktok's a bad idea this is why all these things are bad ideas because of things like this and and the worst part is there's gonna be some people reading this like oh my god yes in fact i'ma actually do this but without the time stopping part and it's gonna make things worse in life oh my him that she'll scream only for Ouyang to rebuke her by saying sure if you can now attempting to call his bluff, Ran opens her mouth, but Ouyang is quick to activate his eye, allowing him to once again stop time. Moments later, Ran finds herself alone and unable to talk, as it's revealed that Ouyang can now turn on or turn off a target's mind. What? He then reappears and asks her if she was even slightly surprised, however, he rambles on by claiming that although her mind is awake, she can't even speak or move. He continues on by saying that she should have been nicer. Ultimately, he brings her closer and tells her that he's basically a demon king, just like the ones in games or anime. Nevertheless, no, please, what happens bro. next is something I cannot show. So just use your imagination. Oh, and yeah, he basically begins controlling her and finds out what she really likes. You know, now after- Why are we watching this, man? Why did y'all do this? Why y'all have me watching this? Couple minutes of countdown began telling him that his ability is about to wear off in 10 seconds. Unfortunately, he was stuck in a compromised position, yes. leading to him being unable to leave. Yes. With his ability now gone, yes. he begins to think he's literally screwed. Yes. He then continues to yes. panic as Ran begins to come alive, however, yes. the turntables and Ran's interest level spikes to 40. Now thinking quickly on his feet, Ouyang begins to attempt scaring Ran and no. asks if she liked pineapple juice. No. With his remark, she quickly gets embarrassed, but he tells her no. that there's not a single reason to be embarrassed at all. He then mentions no. that with her drinking pineapple juice, they have formed a magical contract, proclaiming that his pineapple contains powerful magic and curses. What? Thus, the girl who drinks will become his. Oyang then warns her that if she does not listen to him at all, she will quickly perish. 
What just the like that, f she is actually wrong believed with this everything, girl. including how Santa is actually real. What is wrong with this? To get surprise, Ram uh. begins to actually cry, and she even begins to cling on to him. What the? F to defuse the situation, he explains that even though he's the great demon king, she's not actually instantly cursed. Instead, he mentions that for a human, she's actually his type. No, no, nah, bro. She's pretty, and she's even fit, oh my god. so she's the oh demon god. king's type. Oh my god! Oh my god! He then continues oh on and just warns her to just fully obey him, and oh, everything no, this, will be okay. This is crazy, bro. Oh yeah, Alan even mentions that if she does great, then she'll gain wealth, fame, and everything else that she can imagine. However, the bathroom door begins to open. So he takes her arm, and the two end up stuck in a stall. What the hell is wrong with this dude, bro? How many laws has he broke? Coercion, grape, harassment. We need cameras on the author of this at all times. Now taking the opportunity, he tells her it's some sussy time. So he asked her to show y'all said he's a menace this is a, a degenerate he's a disgrace he's not a menace we didn't no no he he's something else some of her talent as such the two end up on a scenic bike ride inside the stalls but it's hard to keep the electric motor quiet from the rest of the room unfortunately they accidentally filled up the bike too much i'm disgusted bro there's seven parts i'm not watching part two bro